Hey everybody, it's Drew from Como Comic Books. Thanks for joining me again this week on our YouTube channel. This week, we're gonna show you how to make your own signature windows for the next book you wanna have signed by your favorite artist or writer at a comic convention. Stick with us, we'll be right back and we'll show you how to get that going. Welcome back. If we're just meeting, my name's Drew Stewart. I'm the owner of Como Comic Books. We are a Columbia, Missouri-based comic book vendor that sets up at comic conventions and comic shows all around the area. One of the main appeals of attending a comic convention is having an opportunity to meet one of your favorite creators, whether it's a writer or an artist. One of the ways you can help ensure that the memento you bring back from meeting that artist or creator lives up to your expectations is prior to going to the show, you can take your books that you plan on having signed and set them up with signature windows. So let's back it up. What's a signature window? A signature window is a specially modified comic book bag that allows you to provide a specific location for your comic book to be signed. Stan Lee was, God rest his soul, was famous for just grabbing a book and signing it wherever was handy. One of the worst examples of this was one time Stan signed a really nice copy of Amazing Fantasy 15. The only problem with it is when he signed the book, he signed the book right across Spider-Man's face. So dead center of the book, the really just where your eye is drawn to, here's this giant Sharpie signature right across Jack Kirby's awesome cover. And yeah, it's still a Stanley signed Amazing Fantasy 15, but part of the appeal of having a signed book, in my opinion, not having the signature take away something, but instead adding something. So in this particular case, the signature being on that book is a massive distraction. When I had Stan sign my book, I made a signature window, which helped to control where the signature went on the book. So instead of my copy of Amazing Fantasy 15 having that giant signature across Spider-Man's head. It's over here off to the side in the background where it kind of adds to the book. You know, it, it's not distracting in any way. You really still get the pop from Spider-Man, the action's still there, and everything's great. So a quick rundown of the things you'll need. You're gonna need a comic book bag. You're gonna need an old comic book board that you don't mind tearing up a little bit. I also recommend using painter's tape. It would be possible to use some other kind of tape, but painter's tape is a little more forgiving with the adhesive they use. And it also happens to be a bright color, whether it's green or blue, it really draws the creator's attention so they can clearly tell where you'd like to have the signature placed on the book. You're also gonna need a cutting utensil, whether that's a box knife or a utility cutter, just something you can use to cut around and cut out the, the actual window in your comic book bag. Also, you're gonna need your comic book, so you're gonna need to figure out what with that. We'll go ahead and get started and I'll walk you through the steps. All right, so here we are. We've got all of our items laid out, everything we need to make our window we've got our cutting tool got a mylar i'll show you what to do with that here at the end next we have our painter's tape and again that's what we're going to use to highlight the window we're going to make in our poly bag we've got our comic book that we're going to have signed at the convention we've got a backing board that we are going to destroy and finally we've got our comic book bag so first things first, you're going to take the board that we don't care about and you're going to put that right in the bag and right after that, in goes the comic book. So we've got that all lined up, got it seated well so that when we get the book back in there with the window made, the book is going to be lined up exactly where we want it to be. So now we're going to take the painter's tape once I get it started here. And we're going to tear off a few pieces and the goal with your window is you want to be sure and leave the artist enough space to get in there with the the sharpie or the pen whatever you want them to sign with 
but you want to give them enough space where they can get in there and, and do their signature. You don't want to crowd them. So a good rule of thumb is to have a signature window that's at least two inches by three inches. Uh, that way they have plenty of space to really to have a good flow to their signature. You know, they don't have to worry about cramping themselves down to fit into a tiny little space. So if you, as long as you give them two to three inches, you should have ample space in there where they'll be able to give you a good clean signature. So I'm just finishing up, getting my last piece of tape here. We'll have our uh, signature area fully framed out. I like to overlap the tape when I do this, just, I don't know that it makes that big of a difference. Um, I, I feel like the tape bonds to itself pretty good. And that way it, it just helps take some of the stress off the poly bag because when we cut the hole in it, the bag does become weakened to a certain extent and maybe more prone to tearing. So now I'm gonna take the knife and I am just gonna trace right along the inside of that painter's tape. And you don't have to push real hard while you're doing this. All you're doing is cutting through that thin comic bag. We've all handled them, you know, hundreds and hundreds of times. So they're not super, super thick. Um, so it doesn't take a ton of pressure, but you just wanna, as I do it, I like to go, you know, just side by side, make a good clean cut, just a firm amount of pressure enough to get through the bag. And then once you get all four sides cut, you just kind of give it a little pinch and it'll pull out uh, the other, whatever didn't get cut. And voila, you've got yourself a window. So you can go ahead and pull that junk board out. We're done with that. If, you've, if you're making more than one uh, signature window, you can reuse that board. It doesn't really matter. One thing to be aware of is obviously there's a hole in the bag. So now when we take our good board here and we're gonna put that back in the bag, you do kind of have to be careful because where that cut is will sometimes tend to catch on the bottom of the board. And I do a really good job of demonstrating that here. So now we've got our good board back in the bag. We've got our frame cut. We've got our comic that we're gonna have signed. It's going right back in. Same thing as with the new board, you wanna watch because your book will catch on that window if you're not careful. So just kinda of stick a either uh, another board over the top of it, something to kind of work it down in there so you don't worry about dam damaging your book or just be careful. But you get your book in there, you get it seated, double check your, your alignment, make sure it's exactly where you want it. Take a little piece of tape, go ahead and seal up your bag. Normally I recommend two pieces of tape, but you know, for the purposes of this video, I just went with one. And now you've got your signature window knocked out. And I like to take my books and slide them in a Mylar archive or one of the open top mylars like that just because now you have something protecting the entire book it's not exposed in the signature window area so everything's good to go all right and we are ready to load that book up in our backpack and head off to the convention I hope you enjoyed the tutorial on how to make your own signature windows for comic books. It's a really quick process and it's gonna help you ensure that you get that signature exactly where you want it on your favorite collectible the next time you step into Artist Alley at a convention. Leave us a comment below and let us know what future videos you would like to see. If there's any particular questions you'd like to have answered or a topic that you'd like some clarification on, let us know down in the comments and we will get that added to our list. If you found value in today's video, be sure to click subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified every time we upload a video. If you enjoyed today's video, I encourage you to hit subscribe and ring the bell so that every time we upload a new video, you get a notification. We're gonna keep coming every week with a new video, a new topic, that is gonna help you take your collection to the next level.